Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. So time for another episode of this Manchester United save and um, our next opponent is going to be Aston Villa. Mason Greenwood is back in full training but he's severely lacking match sharpness so that's going to be a problem. Three players call up to international. Pogba, despite his being injured. De Gea, despite him being injured. So, yeah, that's that's fun to see. Paul Pogba, out for another nine days. So, yeah, we have our... We have a task to handle now, and now Charlie McNeil is out for two to three weeks. This is go big. This is becoming ridiculous. All the injuries that we are getting to this team. I'm starting to be a bit annoyed, to be honest, about all these injuries. It's a little too much at the moment, to be honest. I think we're going to have to take a look at our staff and see if we need to sign or are allowed to sign more um, let's see what this is first I should bring your attention but it's not getting the expected amount of let's talk about that then Yeah, it's going to be a dilemma here how to handle this season when, when if we continue to get all these injuries. So we're going to have to take a look if we have all the physios that we can have and so forth. Um, yeah, let's just move along here with all this, all these information Jaden Sancho young player of the month get to congratulate him and let's say oh that's my player in Bournemouth getting a prize and that's the player that I was interested in but couldn't get right yes Let's see, let's see, let's move. Oh, crap. We were supposed to do this. We do have the possibility to get one more physio. So let's actually do staff search. New search, enroll, medical, physio. And we're going to have to at least have physiotherapy, working with youngsters and fitness. I think I want those three to be high. Let's see, is there any to... Oh, where are we going to... Who are we going to steal? I hate stealing from other teams, but you know what? Let's do like this. We do one less, one less, and one more. And we go here. Now we have... Here's our 52 year old physio. Let's have a look at him then. Let's try and get him. He's 20 in physio. So let's hope this is something that can help us. Approach to sign this little one like that. Yes, let's move on. Let's hope that he will help us to keep track on 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 keeping the players fit let's send the assistant to that draw out of england reckoning set international and confirm and let's move on towards the aston villa game Let's see what we can do with this Villa game. And it looks like we have a lot of internationals and stuff like that, so 
might be that we need to be having a lot of talk about stuff in between the games because I really want to play at least two games today. I'm gonna have to see if we reach that or not. Let's just do like that. He's trained really well here, according to that one. Move on. So of course, we need a save there as well. <clears throat> and we have match day. We are going to play Villa now. We're going to be facing off against Fred. That's going to be interesting to see if they can use him in a good way. Unfortunately, we don't have Pogba to put up against him. I guess it's going to be McTominay to play as a ball-winning midfielder instead. So, um, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Give us that. Let's get on with the game here, shall we? Like this, yes. And we change Pogba to McTominay. Do we have... Lingard back. Lingard is back from his injury, so I'm going to put him in. What is... Can we stop this nonsense with getting that changed? God damn it, fix your goddamn bugs. It's not funny anymore. So we need to put, let's put him into the, on the bench here. Let's see what we have. Loads of players with fitness problem, and I know I can't play them. And Van der Beek is injured. I mean, yeah. McTominay is going to be playing as a ball winning midfielder. And then we're going to change Fernandez into advanced playmaker. And we're going to put him on attack like that. And I think we're going to take out Bailey again and put in Lindelof and see how that goes. Let's see what to have this changed to four months still. No, expect it to be out for three to five months still. So that's a major blow for us. Luke Shaw. Sure could really do with a rest but I can't rest him I don't have anybody I think maybe we put Dalot in for the second half um, hopefully that will be enough it says 45 minutes so we should be able to play the first half and then put Dalot in in the second half and hope for the best Sancho is a bit tired but um, so is Juan Mata and yeah let's just get on with it and hope for the best come on lads we need another three pointer here and it would be great to get a three pointer against Villa since they are one of the top teams I think they're on in third position I think that I thought think that they were so let's deal with but this is a game that we should be winning Having a look here. <coughs> Ronaldo starting the game. Maguire running up with the ball. Fernandez finding Ronaldo. Trying to find Cavani. But Cavani was offside. He does run a lot of offside, that's for sure. That's not good. Here comes Minx. Finding Watkins, finding... Oh, crap! Whoo, that ball wasn't in. That's a lucky thing. <laughs> oh, Winning this will make us surpass Aston Villa. So we really want to win this. This is an important game to win. Here's Lingard, he gets it in, and Cavani gets it on goal, at least. That's a good thing. And... McTominay gets the red card. What is happening this season? We play good most of the time, and then this happened. 
Do we have any central midfielder to put in, or should I just go with this and hope for the best? I guess we're going to have to place him in a central there and let it be like this, and we're just going to have to see and hope that we can handle this. I don't think we are. I think Villa's going to run over us now. And we're going to ending up with our second loss of the season. It's a tremendously irritating. I thought that we were playing such good football, and we were really making uh, great progress and then this happened all the injuries and now the red cards that i mean can't continue like this there's fred put your pressure on some pressure on freds and the lads Let's see what happens now then very irritating very sad I was so happy that, uh, with the start of the season that we got and now we sort of, it seems like everything is, is just going in some weird spiral downwards and we are getting more and more problems, loads of injuries and loads of other problems that are heaping up here and yeah, not funny but that's... I'm not, I don't want to give up, and here's Ronaldo. Did he manage to stay onside? The checking and disallowed. Yeah, he was offside. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That was too bad. Here's Bruno. With. Oh, and Martinez was just where he was supposed to be. We could save that ball quite easily. This is no fun. <sighs> Come on, it's just Villa. Get, get the ball. Come on, lads. They don't have Grealish anymore. They shouldn't be having this pressure on us, even if we have one more, or one player central. Come on. Get a hold of this game. Yeah, Ronaldo coming way back, and they're hoisting the ball up. They're trying to find Ronaldo, that was back in defense. Sancho. You can be quick. Come on, put up a bit of pace there. And get the ball in and... Oh. At least it's a corner. We are creating something. I'm actually surprised that we are creating stuff with one... One player less than Aston Villa on the pitch. Uh, and I don't want to go over to defensive or... I'm definitely not very defensive. Because if we then let her go in, it's going to be hell on earth to come back to an attacking way of, of play and stuff like that. So no, I'm not going to check. That would be a penalty, goddammit. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Come on, people. Let's go. <clears throat> Shaw is getting really tired as well, so really should be taking him off. Let's pump our fist. Let's go for that one. And let's go, lads. And we're going to do that at once. Delot is going to come in for Shaw. Shaw is going to have to leave the pitch. Come on, that's good fun in Saka. That's a good tackle. Let's, let's see what we can do here. And oh, get the ball away from this side of the pitch. 
is Sancho. Jaden Sancho. And he finds Cavani. And Cavani, oh! Too much power into that shot. Dallo. Cavani trying to find Cristiano, but he didn't. So now Ings, but United. Is taking over the ball here again, Sancho, Ronaldo, from Saka to Sancho, Sancho, can he get it, he gets it into Ronaldo, and oh, should be a corner for us, it is, Bruno with the corner, and oh, we are doing okay, and I, I would be very pleased with a with a one nil win against them, but yeah, now they come and that's got to be offside, I think. Yes, come on, you Reds. Binsaka, Sancho, Bruno, and Binsaka hoisted over to Delot. In God, there's Cavani. Here's Dalot. Here's Lingard. Dalot. Lingard. And Lingard gets the ball in. Oh! So close from Ronaldo. Come on, lads. We have a lot of tired players now. And I don't really have anybody to put in. I could put in Juan Mata for Sancho. But at the same time, Sancho is such an important player if we want to. That isn't a penalty. No, it might be. There's going to be a VAR checking on that one. And it's a penalty. Come on, Cristiano Ronaldo. You shouldn't be missing out on this one. You should be placing this pure net here now. Let's go. Come on, Ronaldo. And it's in. It's 1-0 Man United. 20 minutes to go off the game. Let's... Let's go, let's go. We're top of the table at the moment. Liverpool with one game less played. Here's the lot. To Fernandes. To Maguire. Oh, what was that, Maguire? Good save by Henderson. But it gives them a corner. 17 minutes to go. Come on, United. Oh! Looked like a save, but it wasn't. He headed the ball over the bar. That's good. Lindelof. Lindelof. Van Basaka. Sancho. Finding Cavani. Cavani is certainly offside there. Yes. Running a lot of offside from Cavani. That's a bit of a shine. Let's say a cash. And Samson. And cash. And Sanson and uh, ooh, it's going to be dangerous this. Ooh, that's good. I'm actually going to go in here now. I'm going to take out Cavani because he's so tired. And we're going to take in Bailey. And Bailey is going to be playing the role that um, McTominay had. Hopefully he will... Not be too bad, even though he's not a midfielder, he is a defender. So, but, yeah, let's hope he can handle that. Position in the team. Means getting a yellow card. Is that actually Young being back at Aston Villa? I didn't know that, I missed that, actually. And, ooh, good save, Henderson. Really good save. And uh, it seems like we're going to be getting away with this. We, it seems like we can get a 1-0 victory in this game. This looks like Ashley Young and Lingard getting it away. That's good. Come on, Judge. It's over 94 minutes now. Load the goddamn pipe. And it's, it's over. We win. With a single goal. Brilliant, brilliant. Cristiano Ronaldo saves us. That is perfect. Perfection. And we surpass Aston Villa in the league table. I'm happy with that. 
so happy with that and uh, yeah he's going to be fined I'm gonna f yeah, let's have a guess that just do that I guess we have not been we haven't been uh, deciding punishment where do we do that where do we decide if they are away and stuff like that or maybe that can't be decided more than once when we start the season I guess that's the way it is oh well nothing to do about that we can't help that uh, I was talking about that conduct thing imaging that we have that you can set to the different now we go with that and Scott McTominay accept his fine now we have a, a quite a long international pause so now we're just going to be clicking here and talking that's not the easiest thing so let's continue to click yes finally it moved a day let's continue to click and continue to click and yeah we're just gonna have to see what kind of game the next one is and we have a performance analyst going to sign all right I guess the board has decided that and Victor Lindlof is back in the Swedish side let's see what happens I can't see the next game here even which is kind of frustrating because I want to get to that pretty quick I want to play two games before we end this episode and uh, yeah I'm just gonna have to see what we can do see very hard for the the now it moved one day very really taking its time here Liverpool 10 games um, seventh game in a row that they win not funny it's the training here's the under 23 yeah let's get on with it let's see if we can't get to our next game from the beak injured again how long was he out for now only one day that's good in that's okay especially since he's and there we have it next game is away against Leicester we're going to be playing that game as well and after that we are done with with today's episode and I'm really hoping that we will get some of the players back before that game because we really need it hopefully well Cavani on international duty all the way up into the very day before the Leicester game so I guess he's gonna be a problem having in the team but if we're lucky Rash, Rashford might be back and then uh, we can they can play one half each Rashford and um, Greenwood Lingard injured again one and two days very strange I've, I've never had this much injury problems no matter how I've done with the training to be honest that's weird let's hope that that will ease up when we get a bit into the season because this is very frustrating um, Cavani scored for his country I'm gonna be saying that it's always nice to see that of course and yeah so next time next episode is going to start with a Champions League game away against Atalanta because we're only gonna play the City game as well today and then after that we are done with today's episode and uh, yeah <clears throat> So let's hope we just need to get this done. There should be a, 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 a way to press 
one button to get all of this done with all three of the pliers so but no there isn't we haven't made it that easy but then for god's sake do not, don't bring the other two into this place here so i just don't just tell me about the the, the only one the, the one that has been training the best in training and so i can what's this uh they further too much bang uh, i'm hoping that uh, pogba will be back for the game against leicester that would be good would be good come on get a move on move it move it let's try and reach that game against International Roundup, Victor Lindelof, Cristiano Ronaldo scoring a goal again for his Portugal. Bruno Fernandes wasn't very good. Um, Dylan Lewitt was good though. Victor Lindelof was played good. Scott McTominay played good. Uh, but not Jadon Sancho, that's weird. Oh well. Let's see what we get out of this week. Let's see if we have any chance against Leicester. It's going to be a tough game. And Rashford is back in full training, so he can play one half. And then we can have Greenwood play one half. Uh, the question is, who will start? And he's been playing for France, even though he's injured. That's not good. I should have taken him off then. I shouldn't have let him go. Oh well, not much we can do. Let's have another summary. Because I want to get to that game against Leicester. So we can call this episode over and done with. We did manage to, to take three points against Aston Villa, which I generally didn't think that we should or would especially when we got McTominay sent off I was pretty sure that they were going to put a couple of girls behind our keeper but it went well it went really well here we go with some more international Karim Adeyema scoring for Germany it looks like Mason Greenwood scored three, and Hugh Hugill scored two. So that's interesting. Really interesting, actually. But we need to get to that game now. Come on. And then we have, oh, next episode will be interesting. We have the group final in the Champions League, and then we're going to play Chelsea away in the league. That's going to be a tough game as well. Even though they're only ninth, so they haven't started very well in the league, that's for sure. Here's an injury update. We still have Varane, Kambuala, and McNeil, and it's going to be at least four more months before... Varane is back. That's just horrible. Victor Lindelof did play quite all right for Sweden in their goalless draw against Ukraine. Eric Bailey played well for Ivory Coast against Mozambique. Yeah. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. We're getting close to, to game day. That's good. There's another international. Ronaldo didn't score. He didn't play very well either against Luxembourg. That was weird. 
to be honest. England managed a 9-0 victory against Andorra. That's good. It's got McTominay getting a goal of straw against Austria. Paul Pogba getting a 2-0 win over Finland. Finland, Finland, Finland. The country where I like to be. Just watching TV. As requested, I compiled a brief summary of my player development uh, advice. Yeah, all right. Okay, that's interesting. Maguire and Rogers set for King's Power Stadium reunion. Yeah, that's, that's uh, interesting. Going back to that. They actually think Eric Bailey should be playing instead of Victor Lindelof. I don't know. I don't agree with that. Let's see what we can get out of this game. International Roundup, Staffing. Send Assistant. Continue, continue. And he's injured. Hard for about two days. Thank you. Dang it. We are having problems. I'm not going to praise this. It's too much. I'm just going to go to the game now. We're just going to be playing this game. I'm getting a bit depressed on all the injuries that we are receiving in the club. Irritating. Irritating as hell. Okie dokie. Let's go on to the game here now. Time It's game day and we have McTominay suspended. How about Pogba? Is he strong enough to play now? He's in fitness problem. And look at this. Why? Why, why, why? It's really buggy. And the, the worst thing is that it wasn't this buggy when I played it in the um, in the beta. It wasn't. It was quite all right then. No major issues. And now there's loads of issues. Loads of problem. I can see and feel. Let's see, McGuire and John, Chancho, Pogba, Fernandez and Lingard. Cristiano Ronaldo, who they believe needs a rest. And yeah, I'm going to be playing with this team. I don't care. Cavani gets to play as well. We are going to put that team into the game and hopefully we will... We will definitely try to get out of this victorious, and I'm really hoping we can. The game is off. The game has started, and it's Leicester bringing the ball up on our, uh, our half of the pitch. Now they, we, they are at their own side, but still they are the one controlling the ball. Need to get my hands on the ball there. There we go. Sancho putting an end to their dominance there. And then Fernandez finds Cavani and Cavani. Oh. Come on, United. We need to win this game. Fernandez and oh nothing. Pogba, Maguire, and there is Cavani again. Cavani, 1-0 Manchester United. That's good. My day will be great. But we are still one point after Liverpool. 
Uh, Liverpool has. I just, I'm just waiting for them to score against Watford. So, oh, that was just over the bar. Luckily for us. Twenty-five minutes gone. Come on. Unless they're creating another chance. Luckily it was over. Oh, hits the bar, Fernandez. Yeah, Leicester come. Okay, we're coming. And good break there. Oh my god, all of a sudden I got dead tired here. Well, luckily it's the last game here, so that's going, that's a good thing. Let's see how Lingard. Lingard. He gets it into Fernandez, but Fernandez couldn't do much about that. Cavani was offside as well. Evans. And here's Fernando takes that ball. But here's Sancho trying to find Cavani, but he didn't. So now it's back to Leicester. And Leicester, they are playing good. We are still 1 0 up. Here's Sancho. And he finds Cavani. And Cavani doesn't seem to have any power on that shot. And ooh. Pogba very tired after his injury, of course. I'm like, I don't have McTominay to put in there. So let's pump our fist and let's go for that. And we are off on the second half. And I'm hoping that we can put a goal or two behind. Leicester's goalkeeper, I think it's Casper Schmeichel, yes it is. The, f the son of the legendary Peter Schmeichel, playing for Manchester United in the 90s. Brilliant goalkeeper he was. There we go. Ooh. One now. He had to be offside, wasn't he? Fractional. I think he was really offside. No, he wasn't. The goal is allowed and they have equalised on us. What in God's name am I supposed to do with this? Cavani, Lingard and Fernandez. Oh! Cavani is dead tired here, so I'm going to take him off. Put in Greenwood there. Let's see if Greenwood can do anything about this. Sancho is dead tired as well. Juan Mata, I guess, is the only. And Pogba is tired as well. Donny van de Beek. We don't have much of a choice. We need to put in some fresh legs into the team. And here they come again. Will we lose this game now from Binsaka? And Greenwood, and here's Ronaldo. Can Ronaldo put it away? No, he gets too far out to the side. Has Fernandez? Damn it. And Lingard, you shouldn't have touched that ball. It would have been a thrown in for us. That was really bad of him. Come on. Now we have a chance here. Oh, he hits the bar. With that header, I'm not going to be putting it on very attacking I'm gonna give up here it's going to end it's most likely going to end in a 1-1 draw here if not if they don't get a good chance here it looks like they are the ones that's going to get the next chance if there is any from Binsaka is there getting the ball from the beak Lindelof Maguire Gets it to Greenwood and here's Ronaldo, but Ronaldo stops in the track there. Here's Lingard. Here's Shaw. He gets the ball in, but nobody's there. And the game is over. It ends in 1-1.
better than Socia, but still not good enough, I think. So, yeah, I'm disappointed. That's too bad. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Do you like, subscribe and comment. And um, I hope you've had an, uh, fun with me. And stay safe, of course. That's the most important thing in these days. And I'll just end it with bye-bye-bye.